Hello everybody, I am back today with a haul for you. I'm very excited about this one. I have a completely unopened box from Zara. These are my Zara seal picks. I think there's literally two pieces because I don't know about you, but I had a full basket and that thing was sold out before eight o'clock. B4? So Zara, you played all of us. But congratulations to anybody who got anything because like I say, I think there's two things, a dress and a blazer. And then we also have some pre-Zara seal items that I picked up. Some of them are gorgeous. Am I showing you my dress? Some of them are absolutely gorgeous and I haven't even had the opportunity to wear them yet. I've got bits from H&M, like I think I said. Oh my goodness, the most beautiful set that you've been going mad over on my Instagram. Let's just get into it. What shall we do first? We'll do the pre-Zara seal bits. Actually, do you know what? I'll tell you where this top is from first because I know so many of you are gonna ask. It is from ASOS. It's so cute. It's like a crochet. I'm wearing a strapless bra with it and these beautiful Levi jeans that are also new. I got these from Zalando. They were gifted and I'm so thankful for them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'll insert a picture of this outfit somewhere on the screen so you can see it, but so, so nice. Okay, let's start with an absolute stunner that I haven't had a chance to wear yet. I wanna wear this on a night out, the new out. So like drinks in a bar with jeans. I just think this is stunning. Although there is something that I can't unsee about it. Somebody messaged me on Instagram and said it looks like avocados and it totally does, but that doesn't make me dislike it at all. It's definitely a love or loathe, but I just think the colors are stunning. I'm loving green. I think green with blonde hair is gorgeous. Green with dark hair is gorgeous. And I just can't wait to wear it. So I got it in the size medium. It was $29.99 and she's so nice. I can't wait to wear it. Okay, let's stay with the green. I love this top. So I got this in store in Zara before I went to Bournemouth. I actually vlogged my Bournemouth trip and I certainly hope it's not happening right now. In fact, I should probably check. So the majority of the vlog was silent. This camera's new, as you know, and I have no idea how I silenced the microphone. It wasn't muffled. Like it wasn't like my hand was over it. It was silent so I couldn't use it that's why we have taken two weeks to get another video up because I thought I'd do a vlog and then this haul but I went to edit it and um it was useless so I got this to wear on a nice night out in Bournemouth and oh my goodness I'll grab the skirt for you as well because I had seen it online they styled it with the blue skirt and it was just everything so this in store was only available in a size small, but I looked at this and I was like, that's definitely gonna fit. And it fits perfectly. It's super low cut. I was able to wear a bra with it. So just find the right bra for you. Or if you don't want to wear a bra or don't need to wear a bra, even better. And then this is the skirt. Look at that color. Look at that color. And with the grain, like these colors are just so complimentary and gorgeous together. So I picked up the skirt in the medium. And like I said, I got them in store in Zara. I wish I picked up the small, I just, you know, Zara sizing, I've been going for medium and the changing rooms weren't open. This is the day that we were leaving for Bournemouth. So I brought it home, tried it on. I was like, ah, skirt's a little bit too big, but I wore it anyway. Like it's one of those skirts you can kind of get away with. Like it would look nice sitting lower on the hips anyway. Um, I wish this tie was real. Otherwise you could actually tie it tighter, but it's actually just stitched together. I think Zara brought this skirt out in the white last year and everybody went mad for it, everybody had it. So they brought it out in colors this year and as far as I am aware, this is sold out. But if it is online, I'll link it for you just like I'll link everything that's available and I will look for alternatives as well. Okay, now for the happiest item in my wardrobe, look at these jeans. I don't think I've ever felt so much love for a jean in my life. I just got my regular size, a size 10 and they fit perfectly. I think I put a roll in the end when I wore them, but um, I'll pop the picture in and you'll be able to see. They might be a little bit long, but I find that with everything. I'm five foot three, five foot four, so I'm very, very used to that. But so, so gorgeous. I do think these are still online. Then we have a little corset moment from Zara. This is so cute. And the reason I bought this was I saw a girl on TikTok talking about it and saying it actually is really supportive and you could go without a bra with it. It's actually got all those little hook and eyes up the back and I just really like the corset vibes. I haven't actually worn it yet because I also once again wish I'd got the small. I feel like I am a size medium in Zara but for this to be super tight and give the corset vibes that I want I feel like a small would have been better. So if you are getting this I would say if you're between sizes go down. It does have like real boning in it 
um, and it's gorge. I would have exchanged it, only I got a little bit of makeup on it, so yeah. This one is so gorgeous. I simply had to have it. I love the detailing of it. It's a really nice, a thick linen quality. The only thing is, for me, the straps are very long, and I'm finding that with Zara a lot, so I would like to get it taken up a little inch. To be honest, I'll probably just alter it myself, put a little stitch in it to shorten it, if you know what I mean. So I wore it with a gorgeous little over shirt that I got from H&M, I'll show you in a second. Next, I got this gorgy pair of trousers. I'd seen these on Instagram and I just really, really like them. I got these pre-sale. I think they did go into sale, but then they sold out, so I was so glad I got them. And I bought them in a small and a medium, because like I say, it's Zara sizes, but I took the small in these. They're a really generous fit, and they're lovely. They're kind of an off cream. They're nowhere near white. They're a definite, like, apricot cream, um, but I think they're gorgeous. I'm actually gonna wear these tonight. I'm going for dinner with my brother and my sister. Yeah. When I shopped the Zara sale in store, I didn't actually buy one sale piece. It was just, I feel like because the changing rooms aren't open, loads of people are just buying loads and then they're going to return later. So you might have a better chance even now going to the sale, but there was nothing there. So I actually got just one full price item. I've been looking for a striped shirt for ages. I used to have one, but it was way, way, way too oversized. Like it literally came down past my knees. So I've been looking for another one and I picked up this one. It was $19.99. Got it in the medium, wish I got the large. 100% wish I'd got the large. It just looked quite big on the hanger, but I'm too lazy to take it back and exchange it. So I'm keeping it and it will do. I mean, I'm so glad I didn't get the small, but if you're looking like a really oversized vibe, get large. Okay, so that's all my pre-Zara seal bits. Let's crack open this box. I'm literally just gonna use my nail, which is such a bad idea. I'll use a hanger. Okay, we're in. As far as I'm aware, it's two blazers and two dresses, and I just ordered them both in a small and medium. And I'm so gutted because I wanted this suit. I'll show you the blazer. I wanted it in the suit that comes with a little skirt. It's so tailored and so beautiful. And the skirt was also in my basket and I didn't get it, but I'm hoping somebody will send it back. So it's just this little cropped blazer. It's so cute. I think it would be gorgeous. You can really dress it up or dress it down with jeans. I really want to get the skirt and wear it with heels. It would just be stunning and so chic. I mean, clearly not with this outfit, but that is the medium. And I don't even think the small is worth trying on because for me, that's how I like it to fit. To be completely honest, I don't know if I'll keep this if I don't get the skirt, because like I said, I wanted the outfit. It is cute. I love a little cropped blazer. Oh, here's the small. There's not a lot of difference. I feel like it's shorter, and I feel like it looks like it's pulling more on the arms. So yeah, I think I'd definitely go for the medium. I don't even know what price this was. I feel like $29.99 would be a good guess mark. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below, because someone once told me if you are not obsessed with it don't keep it so i really do try to live by that rule now because it helps okay so the other thing in this box i feel quite confident i am going to be obsessed with similar vibe to this top but in dress form and actually probably nothing like this top but hopefully you'll get what i mean it's along the same vibe you'll see so this is the dress honestly honestly you need a close up wow and let me show you the ends wow I actually never saw this in Zara when it was full price, but I saw it in the sale and I just had to get it. I think this would be gorgeous styled like over a t-shirt with a leather jacket or on its own with a belt on a holiday and a little sun hat. And this is the small. Looking at it, I feel like I'll take the medium. Um, I have wide hips and I don't want this dress to be fitted at all. I want it to kind of just hang. Okay, so I think that's everything from Zara. Let's move on to H&M. This set, honestly, you have absolutely loved it over on my Instagram. I kind of bought it as a loungewear set just to wear around the house, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, this is amazing. H&M sizes are really generous. So yeah, I got it in the small and it's a little shorts and t-shirt set. It almost feels kind of Wimbledon vibes when you wear it. So it's like a really, really thick rib and it's just gorgeous. I'll insert a picture on the screen here or here or wherever um, and you can see it styled. I wore it with um, my ASOS sliders, but I've also worn it since and I've worn it with my Air Force and little Nike socks and that was so cute as well because it is quite a laid back vibe. Just a gorgeous throw on for the summer and I love that. From H&M, I also picked up this really cute plain white skirt. It's got a little slit up the front. I have ordered a couple of these now. I ordered a couple from ASOS. They were 
horrendous quality, like completely see-through. This one is a tiny bit see-through, but I'm keeping it because it's the best I'm gonna get in this linen blend material. Can you see? Can you see the label through? Yeah, you can see the label through. So it's definitely a nude underwear kind of garment. I bought the small and the medium to send one back. I'm gonna go with the medium. It is very roomy around like my waist, but around my thighs and everything, the, the small is just tight. And it's fine when I stand up, but if I wanted to sit down, it probably would burst. So we're going with a medium and it's so cute. I just imagine pairing this with a little white tee. Again, probably Wimbledon vibes, but if you've been a long time follower, you'll know. Ugh. For me, there's just nothing like an all white outfit. So this was $17.99 and I will link it below for you. Next, I got this gorgeous linen blend shirt. I love a linen shirt in the summer, I think we all do. But I really, really liked the masculinity of this. It's very boxy, it's got short sleeves instead of long. A lot of my linen shirts are like a stark white, which I'm not mad about at all, but I just like the color of this one. So I'll insert a picture of me wearing this on the screen somewhere for you, but it's gorgeous. I got the small in it, and I'm not sure what price it is, but it will be linked below for you. It definitely wasn't too expensive. I find H&M so, so affordable, especially in the summer, and they just nail it with their summer pieces. We have another unopened package. This is a denim pencil skirt from Mango Seal. I think it was down to like 20 99 or something like that. I really do feel like this is something I'll keep in my wardrobe for years. So I was so excited when I saw it on sale. Hopefully it fits. I got a medium and it's actually two-toned. How nice is that lighter denim on the side and on the pockets and on the back? So it is a pencil skirt with a slit at the front and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I think I used the size guide and it said my size would be a medium. So. That looks like it's gonna fit nicely. Now we have an accessory. I got a pair of sunglasses from Vestiaire Collective. They are vintage Gucci's. I'm not gonna lie, I was completely inspired by Matilda, Matilda Jerf. I hope I said her name right. She has been wearing these vintage Gucci's and I have been drooling. It took me a while to hunt down a pair, actually, the exact kind of style. I really wanted that iconic detailing on the side. When I finally found a pair, I was so, so, so excited. This is how they look on. I really love them. I know they won't be for everybody. Yeah, I really don't mind if you don't like them because I love them. So they've got the, the box as well. It's a little bit damaged. I mean, not damaged, it's just a little bit marked, but that's to be expected because they are a little bit older, but I love them. So that was something old. Shall we do something new? I caved and I got the coach tabby. Originally, I 100% preferred the pillow. It's definitely, I wouldn't say more my style, but it screamed to me more. But when I saw both bags all over Instagram, when I saw this one, I truly gasped. It's so gorgeous. The details in it make it even more expensive looking. I just felt that this one would definitely be less of a trend piece and will look gorgeous in my wardrobe for years and years and years to come. So it's got this little like over the shoulder strap and then it's also got a longer strap and I've worn this crossbody and I really didn't think I would wear this crossbody but I've actually only styled it once on my Instagram and it was crossbody the way I wore it so it's really versatile. So I'll link this below for you as well. Look at the interior. It feels so 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 expensive. We've got We've got our powder, but we've also still got, I didn't properly open it. Like it's still got all the cardboard in, but it's also got all my belongings, my lipsticks. There's loads of room in there. There's a back pocket as well. If you want to see more of it, there's lots of unboxings of this on YouTube anyway. Coach have really nailed it with this one. And they actually have a shorter, kind of more square one in this exact style. And it's also absolutely gorgeous if you'd like something a little bit smaller. So that's everything for today. I definitely got some really gorgeous bits. Didn't go too mad in the sale. So I feel overall it was a success. Do let me know in the comments below what you think of those Zara blazers because I am undecided on that one. If you're new here, please do subscribe as well. I would appreciate that so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.